Welcome to Evening Prayer. Tonight we commemorate Saint Andrew the Apostle. Most biographical notes on this apostle begin, Andrew is Simon Peter's brother, and he is so described in the Gospels. Identifying Andrew as Peter's brother makes it easy to know who he is, but it also makes it easy to overlook the fact of Andrew's special gift to the company of Christ. The Gospel according to John tells how Andrew, a disciple of John the Baptist, was one of two disciples who followed Jesus after John had pointed him out, saying, Behold, the Lamb of God, John 1, Andrew and the other disciple went with Jesus and stayed with him. And Andrew's first act afterward was to find his brother and bring him to Jesus. We might call Andrew the first missionary in the company of disciples. Though Andrew was not a part of the inner circle of disciples, Peter, James, and John, he is always named in the list of disciples and appears prominently in several incidents. Andrew and Peter were fishermen, and Matthew's Gospel records Jesus' calling them from their occupation and their immediate response to his call. Andrew was the disciple who brought the boy with the loaves and fishes to Jesus for the feeding of the multitude. We hear little of Andrew as a prominent leader, and he seems always to be in the shadow of Peter. Eusebius, the church historian, records his going to Scythia, but there is no reliable information about the end of his life. Tradition has it that he was fastened to an X-shaped cross and suffered death at the hands of angry pagans. Andrew is this patron saint of Scotland. The order for evening prayer begins on page 116 of the Book of Common Prayer. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we humbly confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join in reciting O Gracious Light on page 118. O Gracious Light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified throughout all the worlds. We have two appointed psalms for this evening, Psalm 96 and Psalm 100. 
beginning with Psalm 96, found on page 725. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 100, page 729. We will recite it together. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with the song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear, and come to me. Listen, so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and a commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel for he has glorified you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Please join in reciting the Song of Mary as found on page 119 in the Book of Common Prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has promised, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join in reciting the Song of Simeon, as found on page 120 in the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join in reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our prayers begin on page 121 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please join in Suffrages B on page 122. Your responses are in italics. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your cheese, church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Andrew, St. Luke, and St. John, and all your saints entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to make your own intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. Please join in the general thanksgiving found on page 125 in the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. This concludes our evening prayers. The number for the recording this evening is 247. The number for this evening is 247.